have a, a very mm -hmm. exciting opportunity coming up uh, in about mm -hmm. 20 days. You'll be competing in a grappling match with Dan Danielle Kelly, who's, of course, yeah. a very exciting young prospect from, from this side of the world. Mm -hmm. um, before we get too far into that, how's, how's everything going for you? How's life? It's great. Um, I'm training everywhere, trying to get all the leg lock defense. And, you know, I'm asking all the legends and grappler to get my leg and I try to escape. And that's all I do every day. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It sounds fun. Um, this is a really interesting opportunity. Um, did you ever expect to get any offers like this from one championship to compete in submission grappling? Or did you sort of expect uh, to strictly compete in MMA? Um, I never thought about these kind of opportunity, but you know, it's, it's okay. It's fun to do something new. So yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely good. something, it's definitely something new. As you said, um, had you heard of Danielle Kelly before, before this offer came along? Yeah. Um, she, she fought in, uh, I forgot the name of the, that, um, thing, but some, some of the like the queen did kind mm -hmm. of oh, right. promotion yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so when when quit did is in japan i always go there and do some commentary too so um i always check on that queen mm -hmm. did in las vegas and stuff so yeah i, right. I knew her yeah so you know having heard of her being familiar with her what did you think when one championship came and offered you this opportunity what was your reaction well, you know, um, it's great. It's great. And, um, but, you know, I haven't trained pure grappling for a year. So I had to learn new stuff. And um, I don't know how far I can go, but still, it's good to challenge the new, new thing. And, of course, I want to show my MMA strength in a fight. So... You know, um, totally. It's it, it is a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. How would you say like the the intensity of preparing for a grappling match like this compares to the intensity of getting ready for an MMA fight? I, I imagine it's a little bit different. How does it compare? You know, in MMA, you have to do a lot of things: striking, grappling, wrestling, and all those stuff. So, I'm being like pretty busy thinking about all the all the stuff and you know trying to put all that together and thinking about what will happen and what I need to do you know it's pretty busy but the you know, grappling it's it's more um it's it's not simple but you know if I think about all the things I have to do it's I can concentrate more on like some technique and um those those are the stuff it's the the difference so mm -hmm. you know it's um it's kind of interesting like it, it's a challenge for me how i can concentrate on like the simple stuff you know mm -hmm. it must be kind of nice too to prepare for a fight and not have to worry about getting punched for for once i know i know <laughs> <laughs> cool <laughs> Um, well, let's talk about Danielle. You mentioned that you're familiar with her. You've been following her a bit. What are your thoughts on her submission game? I've seen a lot of leg locks from her, but um, I think she can go for submission from any position. So um, well, I I don't want to get caught in, in any of those submissions. So I'll try to be aggressive, but um yeah it i'm sure she is uh, strong in physical too but it it might be like more like a technique versus mma strength kind of mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> One advantage that you definitely have is experience. You know, you've been competing mm -hmm. in combat sports for much longer than she has. You're familiar mm -hmm. with the one championship cage and these big shows in Asia. Do yeah. you see that being a factor, just that you've been on these stages before and she hasn't? Yeah, I think that will be a one thing to, um, you know, of course, she fought in a lot of professional grappling matches, jujitsu matches. Uh, the size is different in one championship. The indoor stadium there's a lot of people you know 
I kind of enjoy that. And of course, she she might enjoy that too. But, you know, the confidence from the experience is so much different. Mm -hmm. And her jet lag is going to be a lot worse than yours, I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that flight yeah, is never yeah, easy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you mentioned at the top of this call that you've been kind of working with legends, trying to get ready for this. Uh, who have you brought in to prepare for this challenge? Any special training partners to, to get ready for this? Yeah, it's amazing, but all the legends and top contender grappler is training with me, um, like Sakuraba, Kazushi Sakuraba, okay. yeah, Hideo wow. Tokoro, uh, Imanari, and wow, real legends. Yeah, yeah, it's wow. amazing. <laughs> you know, they're they're like trying to get off my like pull pull off my legs and I'm trying to survive <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> yeah um and a lot of uh woman grappler top contender grappler and jujitsu people they you know I this is like such a great thing you know I never thought that all these legends are training it is going to like show a lot of technique and train with me so it's a really great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you, that must help your confidence too, training with these people, yes. I would imagine. Yes. Very cool. Um, well, assuming this goes your way and you, you, know, you beat Danielle, where does that rank among the biggest achievements of your career? That would be pretty significant, I would think. Um, it, um, you know, it will give me a lot of confidence and there's a lot of thing that I can use in MMA too. So like I used to compete in jujitsu a lot. So mm -hmm. I had a lot of technique, but you know, if you go to MMA, you have to do a lot of things. And um, like the technique from jujitsu grappling is good, but sometimes you have to concentrate more on ground and punch mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. other, other stuff. So like something you have to give up Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of um, like training jujitsu. I remember all those stuff and I'm feeling like, okay, maybe I can use that in MMA and, you know, all those experiences. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's give me more confidence for me in MMA too. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. I've actually, I've spoken to fighters before who are doing this mm -hmm. sort of thing, you know, going from MMA into these grappling matches mm -hmm. and they, they speak often about how this sort of helps them rediscover their love for jujitsu, you know, and, yeah. and rediscover their passion for it. Do you find that's happening? And do you think in your next MMA fight, you're going to be approaching jujitsu a, a different way because of this? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Like, um, I, I knew leg locks, but you know, I wasn't confident at all. So, and, and like, any of my opponent never came to leg lock and MMA fight. So I didn't have to care a lot, but now, you know, everyone's getting my leg. So, mm -hmm. you know, I learned, I learned from that. Um, I, I right now I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going for leg lock right now, but in MMA, I, I can go, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from, from the experience. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good. definitely. Um, what we're talking about, have the rules for this been worked out yet? Or is that sort of uh, still up in the air? Uh, what I've heard is like um, based on MMA one championship rule without the striking. And okay. yeah, that's and, and it's a 12 minute. And that's, okay. that's the only thing I've heard. So <laughs> well, I'm sure I, you'll hear more soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I don't know about the points, and mm. I don't think they have points. Just, just the submission or draw, kind of. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. A, a draw, I guess, uh, in this case, might be something of a, of a moral victory. Would you be satisfied with a draw? Um, it depends on how the game goes. Like, mm -hmm. if the crowd goes crazy, and get, you know, if they enjoy it draw is okay but if not like no way that's that's not my fight so you know right right totally understood mm -hmm. so if uh, you know if this goes according to plan for you what's next will it be back to mma after this i assume hopefully yeah um 
Yeah, I want to go for MMA, but um, I hope I won't get any injuries in this grappling match. I hope um, not as well. <laughs> I, hope, yeah. I, I, I hope you make it out unscathed. Um, mm. Have you given any thought to who you might fight in MMA next? I know you had that controversial loss to Jihin. Is that a rematch you're interested? Like any any potential opponents out there that you'd like to fight? Um, yeah, rematch. Uh, I should have the rematch. Yeah, that's, mm. that will be the first one. Right. You seemed, you know, after that fight, pretty upset about the result. You were on Twitter, you mm -hmm. know, just talking about how you didn't understand that 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 outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, I also scored the fight for you. Um, having having had some time to sort of think about that, how do you feel about the outcome? Has it has, does it sting any less now that you've had some time, or are you still pretty upset about that one? I'm so upset, and you know, so many people they're still upset, and. Mm -hmm especially like people who cheers for me and the audiences for one championship, the one championship fans, they are upset. And that, that's the most um, like sad thing, you know, they're always cheering for one championship, but they don't understand. And, you know, some of them might not like one championship anymore. So it, that, that just can't happen. So I okay. hope, um, yeah, I hope, the judgment gets better and mm -hmm. for for the audiences for the fighters too but it's for the mm -hmm. fans yeah very well said um obviously judging is, is a complicated thing there's not really any mm -hmm. easy solutions for these problems but can you think of yeah. anything that one might be able to do to to improve the judging situation yeah they should bring like some people from outside gen one championship for the mm -hmm. fairness you know Right. Just Makes like, just, yeah, just like UFC does, you know, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that's the fair sports. Mm -hmm. uh, well said. You've been competing in MMA for a long time. You've accomplished so mm -hmm. much already. I mean, what what do you hope to accomplish before you before you eventually hang up the gloves? And, and have you given you know much thought to how much longer you want to continue fighting? Well, um, I don't think I can fight long you know maybe one or two years but um i just want to do the performance that is like what i um like i can be confident in every situation you know i just want to give 100 percent that and no regret in the performance mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. That well, yeah, it, if I can do that, I that's the time I can finish my fight. Right. Well, whenever you retire, you should be very proud of the career you have. Uh, it, you know, it's 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 been amazing. Um, one kind of exciting option for you now, though, is you know when you retire from MMA, there's this this possibility for grappling matches in one championship. So, do you think you know it's possible <laughs> that that after you retire from MMA, we may see more of you? You know, in in this context. Um, I don't know. I never thought about it, but like. Um, I've been training, I've been, um, in, I'm, I just started the camp last week and it's only a week, but it's already given me a lot of confidence and the enjoyment in the grappling. So mm -hmm. that might happen. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's, it seems like, you know, some fighters, you know, not to talk too much about retirement. I know you have a big, uh, mm -hmm. big challenge coming up and stuff, but it seems like some fighters have a hard time with, with retirement, a hard time staying retired. Um, how do you think retirement will be for you? You know, you've been fighting for a long time. It'll be a big change. Have you, have you given any thought to what life will be like when, when you're done fighting? You know, I have so many time to spend with my cat, sleep Good. with them and, <laughs> um yeah but I think I will do some sports I mm -hmm. like I like golfing and um I'm sure I've been I'm going to train jujitsu too but um I like music too you know mm -hmm. so like if I stop fighting I think I'll realize that I have so so many time so much time to spend mm -hmm. for all all of these these things beside fighting so i'm, I'm excited mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well you know uh, golf and cuddling with a cat sounds like a pretty good retirement to me i yeah. i think that'll be pretty enjoyable for you um shifting gears a little bit 
this this card you're fighting on the 10th anniversary card is obviously very mm -hmm. stacked very exciting card um one of the main events is is angela lee and stamp fairtex mm -hmm. you of course know angela quite well um yeah. any particular way you see that fight going um well i've seen her on sns she she looks like um she's back in a good shape already and um Stam, she got a good physical too and good striking but um i i'm sure that angela will try to submit her try to go for takedown so if angela can take her down in the early rounds i think she will submit stamp but you you don't know how it goes you know stamp um i think she is working on the ground games a lot too and she has good coaches so mm -hmm. well um i think a lot of people think angela will win the defense the title but um i think both has the chance to win it's got to be pretty cool for you to, to compete on this big card right i imagine this is this is pretty exciting for you mm -hmm. very exciting mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. hope I can see, see all the fight in the stadium, but I'm not sure because of the COVID. Right, but, right. Yeah. You've been competing for one championship since 2016, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. You know, and that's that's a big segment of, of one championship's lifespan. Um when you mm -hmm. when you made your debut back in 2016, did you ever imagine that you'd be competing on the on this huge 10th anniversary show with this promotion years later? No, you know, um, when I first went there for the title match with Angeli one, um, I I couldn't find any posters and anything about one championship in the in the city, you know. And I've been asking some people, uh, fighting for one, do you know? And everybody's like, uh, never heard, you know. It was those kind of situation, but now it's it's a big difference it's amazing and i'm I'm so glad i'm in this this big event you know mm -hmm. you've managed to, to compete at the highest level for the entirety of, of your time with one championship what would you say the the secret to your longevity is how, how have you been able to stay at the highest level for your for your whole time with this promotion well um the sorry my cat is <laughs> that, no need to apologize Hi. guest appearance <laughs> hello <laughs> <It's my sis. laughs> yeah yeah so um Very cute. yeah thank you um you know you well um i think it's knowing yourself like um like in the training what is my limit how I'm tired if I'm having a, enough, uh, what the, like offs, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's about, I think it's all about those kind of, um, the everyday training, uh, schedule kind of, mm -hmm. so yeah. And, um, like your training partner. Like especially for women, it's very hard to choose a training partner. Um, most like I train with smaller guys, but still they're like ten and twenty kilos heavier than me, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of possibility that I get injured. So um, it's I always try to avoid the the injuries, mm -hmm. and yeah, just um. And like, if I'm too tired, I just get off. Um, I try to rest a lot. So mm -hmm. I I try to push myself too much. And even I feel tired, I I I just go training. You know, that's the right. that's right. when I get injured. So mm -hmm. it's from all it's from the experience. You know, I've been experienced that a lot of times. So when I'm when I do that repeatedly. In some point, I noticed that okay, this is this is not a time. You know, I have mm -hmm. to rest today, and yeah, I think that is. I think it's those kind of stuff. You know, 
knowing yeah. about yourself and avoid injury and get, and uh, concentrate in the train in everyday training. That's the key point. That's really interesting. Um, you've you've had an amazing career so far, May. Um, I'm so excited to watch this grappling match with Danielle Kelly. Uh, last question for you before I let you get back to your mm -hmm. evening over there. How do you see this grappling match going? Um, I would love to go for a submission. She will try to get my leg and every submission too. But um, I think we both are going for the submission and it will be a great, uh, crazy 12 minutes. 